Hello students, I Ajay Gupta from Mechanical Engineering Department welcomes you to the zone of learning. Today you will learn about an important and interesting topic of grinding machine category that is centerless grinding. Friends, just think why it is called centerless grinding. Yes, your guess is correct. There is something which is not in center during the operation. So it is called centerless grinding. That means there is some components from that component any one component is not in center that's why it is known as centerless grinding so let's see in detail so let's see the content quickly that is introduction working principle forms or types of centerless machine advantages disadvantages and application of centerless grinding machine and internal centerless grinding machine as you know Grinding machine is a production machine in which outside and inside diameter of the workpiece is ground. Whereas in cylindrical grinding, the workpiece is held between two centers, but in centerless grinding, the workpiece is not held between two centers. It will hold between two wheels and one work rest. Friends, as here, workpiece is not held between two dead centers, therefore, this grinding machine is also known as centerless grinding machine. You can see the basic setup in the diagram where G represents grinding wheel, R represents a regulating wheel and W represents workpiece and B is the work rest. The next one is working principle of centerless grinding machine. How centerless grinding machine works? So centerless grinding is a technique that holds the workpiece between two wheels which is rotating in the same direction. but a different speed and workpiece is supported by work rest. So as shown in the diagram, there is three main components, two wheels and one work rest. Friends, when you draw diagram, don't draw workpiece in the collinear center axis of two wheels. It will be little offset in upside from the two grinding wheels. Out of two wheels, larger wheel is the grinding wheel and smaller wheel is the regulating wheel or you can also say it pressure wheel or supporting wheel. The role of the work rest is to provide support from the bottom of the workpiece. You can see the schematic diagram of the centerless grinding machine. Friends, the regulating wheel is made of rubber bonded abrasive having the functional characteristic to rotate the work. The speed of this wheel which may be controlled, this regulating wheel can move left or right direction. So set the different diameter of workpiece. During the operation, the axial movement of the workpiece past the grinding wheel is obtained by tilting the regulating wheel at a slight angle of from the horizontal axis. The angular adjustment of 0 to 10 degrees provided in the machine for this purpose. The next one is forms or types of centerless grinding machine. There are three methods used for feeding the work to the centerless grinding machine. First one is through feed, second in feed or plunge feed and third one is end feed. The next one is forms or types of centerless grinding machine. There are three methods used for feeding the work to the centerless grinding machine. First one is through feed, second in feed or plunge feed and third one is end feed. Second one is in feed. This method is particularly used for unusual shape of work pieces. The work is placed by hand in the grinding apparatus to start the operation. Attention is then paid to the contour needed for grinding, ensure the piece stays in the place and the complex grinding is success. The third one is end feed. In this method, the workpiece is fed into the grinding system until it reaches the stop at the edge. There is one stop point. You have to feed your workpiece from any one side and then feed till it will stop by the edges. Grinding process happens after that and then the workpiece goes big in the same direction it was fed in. This method works perfect for tapered workpiece. Let's see the advantages of centerless grinding machine. There are several advantages. First one is the workpiece is only raised on the work rest. Therefore, no checking or work holding devices is required. Second one is 
generally central is grinding operation continuously especially for through feed grinding and also time loss for the loading and unloading is minimum third one is maximum low skill is required to attain the central is grinding machine fourth one is as compared to other grinding operations less wheel wear as there is no thrust generated that's why here wheel wear rate is very less as compared to other grinding operations fifth one is no axial thrust is present due to the free movement of the wheel then last one is the work is fully supported by the work rest blade and regulating wheel let's see the disadvantages of the centerless grinding machine first one is the work piece having several diameter is not easily handled even time we have to adjust the regulating wheel as per the diameter increases or decreases second one is the work with the flat surface or keyway cannot be ground maximum round cross sectional work piece only can be ground and last one is in hollow work there is no assurance that the outside diameter will be concentric with the inside diameter because in external machining the machining will be done on the outer surface of the workpiece and if there is any ovality or any uneven shape it is difficult to concentrate with the center hole let's see the application of centerless grinding machine centerless grinding is preferred for requirements where many parts needed to proceed in the short period of time centerless grinding is critical to manufacturing many high volume automotive components like valve spools control rods cam shafts crank shafts piston slaves and rollers in addition centerless grinding is applied to produce parts for hydraulic and fluid control medical and aerospace industries indeed any industry where roundness and extremely accuracy of cylindrical surface is needed now the internal centerless grinding this machine is used for grinding cylindrical and taper hole in the cylindrical parts that is cylindrical liners or various bushings etc in internal centerless grinding the work is supported by three rollers the work piece is rotated between two support rollers and pressure roll and regulating wheel and is ground by the grinding wheel the grinding wheel contact the inside diameter of the work piece directly opposite to the regulating roll thus assuming a part of absolutely uniform thickness and concentricity the pressure roll is mounted to move aside to allow loading and unloading figure shows the operation of internal centerless grinding only attempt the mind twister questions attached through the link provided in the description so that's it from this session and see you in the next video with some more in learning topics till keep learning keep growing thank you